Hello there. I thought I'd do a little video here of a setup that I've got um, for my wife's horses for the electric fence. Um, so this is basically an electric fence energizer, which takes a 12 volt input. So it can either be uh, powered by a 12 volt a plug-in adapter. So you can plug it into the wall if you've got an extension lead, or if you've got power wherever this is positioned. Um, and basically the the stake goes in the ground with an earth wire, so one side of it is earthed, and the other side is the output, which is this lead here. So this connects to the electric fence on the wire, on the, the, the special rope, and this stakes in the ground and this earth, so you've got a constant circuit. So basically what happens is, is when the horse standing on the ground comes in contact with the electric fence they get a shock now it's 10,000 volts or something stupid like that but it's no amp so it just gives them a shock and it stops them going through the the fences now the problem that we were having is obviously a battery has only got a set set amount of lifetime uh, you have to go out there and charge it every few months and you know because they don't really take a lot of power but they still still take power so we got this little solar panel it was an ebay job and we connected it on to the battery and that was the first we just put jubilee clips straight from the not jubilee clips uh, crocodile clips straight from the solar panel straight to the battery. Now the only problem with that is, is there's no charge uh, management. It, it, the solar panel could overcharge the battery, or in the winter months, that could completely flatten the battery, and it would damage it under about six volts. I think they work down to about six volts, something like that. You know, and it will flatten the battery. So next thing I'm gonna hold off, again, I think it was off eBay, Amazon, whatever, is this charge. Uh, charge manager basically so basically you've got six inputs you've got the battery input so you connect the battery your plus plus and your negative and that goes into your plus and negative of the battery input and then you've got your load which they're shown as a bulb you've got your load which comes out and then goes as the power for this and then you've got your solar panel, your plus and minus for your solar panel. So it all comes into here. And basically this manages the solar panel, the battery, and the energizer. So what happens is this has got preset parameters. I'm guessing here, but roughly maximum of 14, 15 volts. If it detects the battery voltage at 14 or 15 volts or over, it will disconnect the solar panel and this will continue to work for the battery until obviously the battery voltage gets down low enough this will detect that and then it will allow the solar panel to charge the battery and also it works the other way around so in the winter time raining if the solar panel isn't charging the battery enough if the battery gets below 12 volts this will switch off and allow the solar panel to charge the battery back up again now you don't have to power um, don't have to power the fence all of the time but once they get a shock off of it they generally respect it but over a period of time they then start to test it and try out try their luck on it so this wasn't expensive I think this was I don't know 20 quid and that was 40 quid something like that and it just sort of manages the problem of having this and this generally sits out under sort of like an old um, box like a plastic box with this set on top for about a year I and mean, generally it has to come in every year and be you know it gets full of mud and you know, these contacts need to sit out in the open so they get you know like, put grease on them to try and protect them so yeah okay so this is literally just with the solar panel connected to the multimeter and it's showing nearly 14 volts but obviously that's got no load connected so that's without 
you know, really any sun at all. I don't know it's not down to sun, it's down to UV, but um, yeah, obviously the the load on the battery brings that voltage back down to a respectable level. Okay, so that's basically that. So currently at the moment, we've got 12.1 volts in the battery. And it shows on here, charge, load, and obviously the battery condition. And the sun has just gone in. So that's basically just the breakdown of that. So this is just something that I'd cobbled together myself. So, and it just seems to work. And we didn't have to keep charging the battery every three months. So I hope that helps someone out.